Boris Johnson has been told any government attempt to adopt a herd immunity strategy when it comes to managing COVID-19 would be completely wrong and would cost thousands of lives. Sir David King, the UK's former chief scientific advisor and chairman of Independent SAGE, issued his stark warning in support of an open letter signed by more than 1,000 UK scientists in The Lancet criticising plans to remove all coronavirus restrictions next week. And the same group of scientists behind the letter has issued a separate statement today in which they branded the government's approach as dangerous and unethical. They also outlined a four-pronged strategy which they argued was necessary to prepare the British public for the autumn. Mr Johnson outlined his plans in a statement at number 10 yesterday. Specifically, the Prime Minister confirmed legal requirements for social distancing and mask wearing would end on that date, while simultaneously stressing, this pandemic is not over, and urging people not to indulge in a great jubilee of freedom from any kind of caution and restraint. It is unbelievable that the UK government should embark on a herd immunity strategy that will see thousands of unnecessary deaths and severe long-term illness when so much progress has been made with the vaccination programme. As we have said for over a year this strategy is completely wrong and does not reflect the best scientific or medical advice. The group of scientists includes the lead author of the Lancet Memo, clinical epidemiologist Dr. Deepti Gurdasani, a senior lecturer in machine learning at Queen Mary University. Professor Trish Greenhalgh of Oxford University, and Professor Christina Pagel of University College London and Professor Martin McKee of the London School of Tropical Health and Hygiene, both of whom are members of Independent SAGE. Their statement said, The Prime Minister's statement today leaves little doubt that the government's latest pandemic plan involves recklessly exposing millions to the acute and long-term impacts of mass infection. We believe this is a terrible mistake. This strategy is already putting intense pressure on struggling healthcare services and will lead to many avoidable deaths and long-term illness.